What's up, Scrollers? It's Nerp here, and we have the next round, the final round, I guess, of the tournament. Do I want to keep the starting hand? A uh, burn in the starting hand for energy is always good. I don't have a 2-drop or a 3-drop here. I'm going to tempt Fate and keep this starting hand because on turn 3, I can potentially play something pretty big. And it's always weird getting rid of a Bombard as ranged energy, but I'm going to do it because I don't think that's a good card to have in your starting hand. Maybe I should have mulliganed. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. So this is the uh, final round, I guess. Uh, the winners of the four groups were me, Valentine, um, quickly check right here, Alpha Century, and WBMC. So it's kind of the same format for this next round, and we all play against each other. My first match, my first matches here is best of three against Valentine, and whoever has the um, best winning percentage from all those games wins. Okay, and I top deck a three drop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of the power trips even though Double Power Trip is a pretty powerful play. Unfortunately, did not get to play a Hired Smuggler there, or Gun Auto, or Dust Runner in the first few turns, which I have in the deck, but at least I'll get the Storm Runner out. Okay, we're gonna see a Blade Husk. It looks like he's playing a Undead deck, maybe a YOLO aggressive deck. Here, I'm gonna go with the Storm Runner. The question is, do I wanna get rid of the Aquamaton here? I think I'm gonna get rid of the Aquamaton. The Tempest Reaver, I think, is going to be a little bit more valuable. I'm going to play the Storm Runner in the middle. I would normally keep the Ekomaton if I was playing against Order, because they play a lot of spells. Energy, because of the burns. But against Decay, a Yolo Decay deck, I mean, there's Restless Bones. Um, there's a few other spells. But like Languid, for example, it's an enchantment. That's slightly annoying. That means that this one had enough, enough attack to kill that, but I will eventually, I'm sure, have a, uh, I will eventually have a Machinated, hopefully. Um, now the question is, do I play, do I get rid of the Power Trip or the Sudden Eruption? Um, I think Sudden Eruption is going to be pretty good against his deck, so I'm going to get rid of the Power Trip, although using them in tandem is pretty good. And now I don't really, I'm not sure if I even have another Power Trip. Um, I'm going to put the Storm Runner in front of the Tempest Reaver. Because this guy's 5 attack is actually enough to kill the 4 health, 1 armor Tempest Reaver. Don't really want that to happen. So. If he doesn't play a unit this turn, I can actually sacrifice the resources and play Sudden Eruption to get rid of this. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to have to burn it. Not really what I want to do. Wish I had a Machinated in hand. Let's see what he does. I think range energy is a pretty good matchup for me against... This kind of decay deck. Okay. Power trip. Do I get rid of another power trip? I think I have to. Um, sudden eruption is tempting. I think if he has an Irva, do I go for scrolls and hope I top deck like imaginated? And then otherwise I just play burn anyways, but I want to be able to play the sudden rupture with more resources. Or I could just sacrifice this this guy. I'm going to sacrifice for scrolls here. Give me a machinated. No machinated, I'm just gonna burn. Cause I'd if possible, I'd rather keep um and I am gonna move up here. So if he has an Irva, I'm basically just letting the Storm Runner die. But against uh, a undead decay deck, it's likely to be pretty aggressive on idle damage, so I think I can pretty reasonably trade my zero attack Storm Runner for some idle damage. And also, I like how I'll be able to attack whatever's up here, maybe the Conduit, with my Tempest Reaver. And next turn, I can go to five resources. I can play the Gun Auto and the Storm Runner. Play an Oculus Cannon maybe, but I probably want to save that for when I can play it uh, along with a Overdrive to make it have haste. Or Bombard, but I already sacrificed one Bombard. Okay, so obviously a burn would have been great for that, but beggars can't be choosers. Now the question is, what else is he going to play here? Because I'm going to be able to destroy one of these two things with this. Okay, he doesn't kill that yet. Ooh, I have the Oculus Cannon Overdrive now. The question is, do I want to do it now? I don't think I want to do it now, because I'd like to get value from this guy's attack. Next turn I can do an Oculus Cannon Overdrive. 
Right now, if I play the Storm Runner, he'll have two attack left. If I play the Gonado, he'll have three attack. I think two attack is, uh... Two attack is fine. We're just going to, um... I'm going to try to scare him by putting the Storm Runner down. I'm just going to play the... Yeah, actually, I'm going to... I'm going to take out the... What do I want to do here? I'm going to put down the Storm Runner. I think that's more threatening. So let's put down the Storm Runner. Let's protect whatever is going on there. He gets another one of those. Which is not too... I mean, this is obviously a pain in the ass, but I have three potency bursts in the deck. So I should have, and with the Oculus Cannon dealing damage to it, as well as a Sudden Eruption, maybe the following turn. Okay, there's an Irva. Okay. I think it's time for a Oculus Cannon Overdrive. I guess I'll have to get rid of the other Oculus Cannons. I think I need to keep the Sudden Eruption. A Bombard would be nice, but... So... If I sacrifice this, I put... The Oculus Cannon. Where do I put the Oculus Cannon? I'm going to put it in the back. I'm going to sacrifice the resources, so in case I want a sudden eruption next turn, I can pretty easily. Let's go for resources. I am going to put the Oculus Cannon in the back. Where do I put it in the middle? I think I want to have the Storm Runner in the middle. Just to... Actually, no, the Storm Runner can... Yeah, just to ensure the Storm Runner can reach anywhere that I want it to, including the... Uh, including the conduit. Okay. So unfortunately the um unfortunately the revenue did not spawn up here, which would be nice. So he can destroy the reaver and then put the revenue behind it to deal damage to the storm runner. But doing so he's in line of attack of this Oculus Cannon. So he'll obviously want to have the revenant go here because the revenant's gonna die anyways, but he's taking a risk with this Oculus Cannon. One thing that's a problem with ranged energy is that all energy ducks, I think, in general, actually, they kind of run out of cards pretty quickly. They don't have great ways of really ramping up. Okay. He wants to take care of that. And there's another Revenant. And that's... Okay, I think I'm going to do the Sudden Eruption now. So that'll leave that with one health, which is kind of dangerous. I don't want him to be hitting an idol for nine attack, but there's a lot of ways I can take that out. Harvester, that's something that I'm going to have to deal with. Yeah, we're going to want another sudden eruption. <laughs> that would be ideal. And let's top deck it. Nope, I kind of need that storm runner though. Potency burst. Hmm. Do I play the Potency Burst? Believe it or not, I think I'm going to play the Potency Burst on the Harvester. Tough choice, but... The Rot Eater has so little health. And he's going to have to take out one of these two top idols. Which, you know... At least he can't really... I mean, he could go for the middle... I'd welcome him to just go for the middle of the board and take out this Oculus Cannon with a, and waste this in attack. Okay, he goes for another Harvester. Pretty tight game here, I think. I have removal in the deck. Okay, we really want another Sudden Eruption. Thea. Should I just play with Thea? I could just play with Thea. I think I'm just going to play with Thea. Um, yeah, I'm going to play with Thea. Pretty risky getting rid of that. Uh, getting rid of that overdrive. I'm gonna need to top deck something good here. I kind of got a little tricky playing, trying to play range energy for this competitive game. I don't think it's uh, as good as growth, decay, or order right now in the meta. But I play those decks a lot recently on the channel, and I also thought I could might be able to get away with playing range energy because I think the, the deck that energy has is the worst against is gonna be growth, and I play a lot with Valentine and believe there was the lowest chance he was going to play growth I was expecting him to play anything about growth and I think ranged energy fares decent against all those decks with alter removal um, so obviously this is dead to 
a damning curse, but at least that would kill all this shit too. So really, really need some removal, and I'm only going to top deck two cards, or a bombard, or... Okay. Dangerous, dangerous. Give me a Thunder Surge. He's just hoping I don't, I don't have Thunder Surge in the deck. I think I have a couple in the deck. Smuggler. Sudden Eruption. There we go. Okay, we're just going to play it. Okay, the question is, the question is, do I, unfortunately this interruption didn't kill this, but I can't be too mad. If he has double wrestle spells, he like wins the game, that's the problem. Do I move up and risk a damning, no, he's, I think I have to move up. I'm going to move up, yeah. He can kill, he can kill the, uh, the Thea, that's a problem. I'm not looking like, I'm not looking too good here. I needed to get, I think I really needed the, uh, the one that it didn't ping to be the to be the conduit. He does have a damage curse. Okay, so he's going to win. He's going to win with just two two loyal darklings or two things like that, which he definitely runs in the deck. And my the problem with my deck is that my deck cannot win that fast. It's not like that aggressive. Okay, now I'll play the Cannonette. I think I need to play more things that will deal more damage. Okay. Cannonetta here. And I'm just going to spread my stuff out, I mean. Or I guess I should protect a little bit better. Problem is this guy's just going to destroy whatever he wants. I need to top deck some good things. And otherwise, I'm on the back foot because what we also did for the, these games is uh, usually when you challenge them, it's a 50% chance of who goes first. And um, it's pretty unfair if somebody gets lucky and gets to go first in both games. And this is definitely the case where if I lose the game, but this, so we did it so you can make a custom challenge challenge match that makes the person who sends the challenge go first. So we did that to ensure that the first two games would be 50-50. Uh, would Each person would get to go first in one of them. And so the first one, I, I just was going to go first. And if I lose this, that means i got to go second in the next one. And I could, if I go 0-2, it's going to be hard to win the thing. So this one is tempting, um, but I'm going to get rid of it. Because it combos very well with Bombard and low health creatures. Okay. Let's see. Got to protect that idol now. Um, this is extremely dangerous. <laughs> we need him not to kill this Cannonetta. I need to destroy things with the Cannonetta. Even then, I think I'm just toast because he has probably Wicked Beings. He probably has Loyal Darklings. And Range Energy is not the deck that can just win really quickly. It's not like order and growth where they can really clear things up. So what do I even want to top deck here? What's he doing here? He's going to focus on the bottom. That's understandable considering the cannon is going to attack the middle. But I'm not too worried about the next turn because I don't think this harvest is attacking yet. And the Corpse Strider is not it's not undead, so a Restless Bones wouldn't make it go off. So at least if he doesn't put a creature, he's gonna put a creature there. Okay. And a Harvester. We need to take care of these guys. And there's double mash needed. Oculus Cannon Overdrive. Issue with that. I think I have to do that in the bottom here. This top row will be a little vulnerable, but I gotta do it. Oculus Cannon, Overdrive. So that's gonna kill this Harvester at least. It's gonna kill this. Um, I'm gonna move this up so that I can try to start protecting that idol. And that means I can move this down and hit this Revenant, and I'll keep the Smuggler in the middle. I could move it up to try to, about up or down to put pressure on something else, but I think I want to. Keep someone protecting the middle in case he has a restless bones combined with a um, a restless bones combined with a revenant. Even though he may have played through revenants already. 
Okay. GG, he's got it. Oh, I didn't even realize that kills everything. GG, WP. Didn't realize that the harvester would go off. I didn't know I was killing Alright, guys, game two. Backs against the wall against Valentine here. I'm going second as Decay. I have to choose a deck that I know is going to go second. I'm, I'm wary to go with an aggro deck. Okay, he's going with growth. When I said that, he doesn't play growth. <laughs> is this a good starting hand? I'd rather have, I think, a uh, Hilmar Tribesman 2 drop, and maybe a Rot Eater 2. So I'm going to gamble and go for new one. It's not Lorus because I can play Languid on a turn 2 Brave and then Harvester Curse Monger, but we're going to gamble. And that is a better hand because also Soul Steel is great against growth. I will go ahead and get rid of the early Necro Geddon. It's going to be a while before I can play that. So, uh, Decay is usually the favorite versus growth, but a growth deck that gets a good good starting hand that goes first could be could be uh, nearly impossible for any deck to take out, so we'll see. Okay, well, no turn 2 Brave, which is good. Um, it's very interesting. Do I... Can I put Blightseed in an opponent unit? Target unit? Could you control? Only you could, okay. um, I think I'm going to get rid of the Unbind right now. I just don't think we're going to see an enchantment right now. Because he needs to play creature before he enchants. And I like my other cards right now. Soul Steel is kind of too good against growth to really give up. Even though he didn't play anything on turn two. He could have actually had a Brave, but maybe he saw I was playing Decay and didn't want to give me that value. Which, uh, that's a pretty ballsy play. I think that's usually think overthinking it because, I mean, I still have to use a turn to play the Soul Steel and then I have to play playing a three cost like Meyer Shamble. All right, it's an aggro deck. I think more of an aggro deck would have the Stone Recluse. Okay, so now, do I Blight Seed? Blight Seed is definitely an option. Against Growth, I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to really just play the Halls of Omasa. I'd probably use next. Uh, next turn, I could actually play it though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to play the Blight Seed because this thing is going to survive. And when you know it's going to survive in the early game, you got to play it. I'm going to get rid of the. I'm going to get rid of the Soul Steel. Because I think at this point, he's not. He's not going to play uh, a two health creature because he's unless he plays a Rat King right now, but that's pretty. That would be atypical of an aggro deck, which it looks like he has by him playing this. But pretty weird of him to. I could have moved away with the, with that, but I was just more afraid. I don't know. Fang Bear. Yeah. Okay. That's not all right. So let's see. Now I'll have six. Should I just play the halls and try to overwhelm him later? I could do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I really want to get a curse monger though. I mean not a curse monger, a witch doctor. So let's get rid of the curse monger. And I think I'll just play the halls. Obviously I'm being a little greedy here. But he didn't get the fastest start. Also, if he kills this, the Fang Bear's attack goes down to one. There's some big creatures there, so we're gonna need damage curses. Necro Geddon. Necro Geddon is interesting. I'm going to have five resources this turn. I think I'll play the Oblivion Seeker. And I will keep the Necro Geddon. Oblivion Seeker. And then next turn I can play Harvester. Yeah, okay. I can get rid of the Blightseed. I don't think I have an opportunity to play the Blightseed now. I'll play the Oblivion Seeker. Or I could play the Rod Eater next to that. Um, I think these creatures are kind of fodder now, so I'm just going to play them in the middle. I really need to top deck uh, some removal. At least he hasn't done the idle damage yet. Unfortunately, this doesn't just let you sift cards from anything. It lets you sift cards uh, only from the graveyard, and I have not, I have not uh, sacrificed cards that I need. I need Damon Curse, I need Witch Doctor. Neither of which I've sacrificed. So, it doesn't help that much. May have gotten a little greedy trying to play that. Let's see. I mean, Harvester and Roddy are always a pain for growth to handle. Okay, he's going to go ahead and take that out, I think, while he can. Before the Witch Doctor, I don't blame him for that. And he's going to move it like that because... Okay, there's a couple Witch Doctors. Okay. And now I'll take the Soul Steel back because the Soul Steel will, will take care of the Ragged Wolf. Do I need two Necro Geddons? I don't think so. The question is, do I play the Witch Doctor? I think I'm going to want to play two creatures here. 
Problem is, both those guys are attacking like that. That's pretty tough to deal with. I'm gonna get rid of the Necro Geddon. So, I'll go ahead and... Harvester Soul Steel, maybe? I know, I need to get a unit down. I'll get the Blight Bearer down. Then I can't play anything with it. That's, that's kind of so I, I think I have to get more bodies on the board. Okay, we're gonna har we're gonna harvester soul steel. So let's go with the harvester. Okay, and then let's soul steel. Okay, soul steel. Yes, that's where I wanted it to go. And now the thing bear. And now the thing bear only has one attack. And next turn I can go rot eater blight bear, or I can just get the witch doctor out. But I don't think I'm gonna want to get the witch doctor out when. I don't know. If I can keep this rot harvester alive. It's going to be pretty good. I still have a Necro Gun if I, if I want to uh, just try to take things out. I'm hoping I don't see another big, beefy, you know, Great Wolf. Next turn is my last Hall's turn. Okay, he's going to go for the Pillage. So, it's fine, I guess. I think I'm going to try to not play another Human next turn. Because this Fang Bear will get more attack. Okay, he's another Great Wolf. That's not what I wanted to see. But see, if he has a Rallying, that row is not looking too good. Um, Soul Steel, do I want the Soul Steel? Third Witch Doctor. Hmm. I think I'm going to want to take the Soul Steel. Even though I'm not playing it this turn. I think I want it. I wish I could play something else with this, but I have to go for resources. I need to ramp up. Okay, I'm gonna play the. Uh, I play? If he if he rally, no, I can't. I can't really do that. I move this to the middle. If he goes to the rally, he has me anyways, because then that would be four attack, five attack, four attack. Yeah, this this row is destroyed if he rallies anyways. So should I just tempt it? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something pretty dangerous there. Yeah. Okay. If he has a rallying, I think uh, I think I lost. Because <laughs> then that whole row is destroyed. It was a risk I think I had to take though. If only I had a damage curse. I'd like if I don't if he doesn't rallying I'd like to uh if he does out if he does rallying I want a top deck a um I think we would have played the rallying by now, by now if he had it I would want a top deck a tribesman so I can play it in tandem with the witch doctor okay so no rallying another fang bear certainly stopping me from playing the witch doctor and stuff okay so I think I'm gonna go for I could necro get in. Doesn't take out what I need to take out, though. Okay, I'll get rid of the Life Stealer. Please give me a Damning Cursor, so I don't know what I even need right now. What do I even want to top deck here? Aren't I just playing Witch Doctor anyways? Because this is my chance when the when those guys aren't attacking. Nah, I'm gonna, gonna go for Scrolls anyways. Should I move up? If I just sacrifice the resources, now I'm gonna go for scrolls. Another harvester. Harvester blade bear wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, and next, yeah, I think I'm gonna go harvester blade bear. I don't think he can, he can take out everything. Um, let's go with the blight bearer and the harvester. Oh shoot! All right, we have a two-thirds chance of hitting something. Okay, he can he can certainly take out things. <laughs> I should have put the, I should have put the uh, harvester up one so it'd be next to the rod eater. Let's see what he can do. Rumble. That's can't tell if that's good rumble for me or not. Interesting rumble. At least I'll be able to soul. So I'm soul stealing this Fang Bear, almost almost certainly. 
It looks more likely that I'm gonna do a uh, Necrogun soon. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna take out a lot of things. That's gonna take out everything, actually. Actually, it's not gonna take out everything. Because the Rod Eater's gonna get a Kenny. That's not gonna take out. He's not, he's not gonna go for the bottom at all. Interesting. He's going to. Really? That is surprising. And I'm happy he did that. I think that gives me a chance at this game. Not a big chance, but a chance. So now I soul steal. I'm gonna soul steal. That's that's certain. Soul steal, Darkling, and Tribesman. I think I have to fill the board with with units. So I'm gonna get rid of the Witch Doctor. I hate getting rid of multiple Witch Doctors. Okay, I could go with a brain brain lice unbind on something. I kind of hate having the Harvester just attack nothing right now, but I have to get rid of this, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and Soul Steel Darkling Tribesman. So let's go ahead and Soul Steel. And now, I'm just going to move these guys up. Now I'm going to play a Tribesman there. And a darkling in the middle. The reason I put that in the middle is that that at least like you know makes him lose some of the attack of the thing there. A mangy wolf would suck here. I'm really hoping he doesn't have the cards he needs. Next turn, a necrogeddon might be the move. Otherwise, I mean, if he if he doesn't if he doesn't have a mangy wolf and stuff, I think I still necrogeddon. But I could go ahead and play the witch doctor. If, if, the, if any human survive, I can have the, that in front. Well, in Ranger, okay. So he does not... Is he not killing anything? That's pretty huge. Problem is, even if I Necro get in... Even a Necro get in doesn't do that much, does it? I'd kill some things, but then he'd have... It doesn't kill either Great Wolf. And then both Great Wolves come down with their Reign of Terror on a bunch of weak-ass husks. I think I have to just go with the Witch Doctor. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor Tribesman. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the... Brain Lice, maybe? Yeah, actually, I'm gonna get rid of the... Yeah, the Brain Lice. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? I don't like the only the two the two health there, but that's what has to be done. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't have like another crimson bull. I mean, he can he can take out a lot of things here. I want to top like a languid. A languid unbind is pretty powerful. It's basically, does another damage curse. I also have three damage curses in the deck. Okay. That's he had the second rumble. That's um at least the witch doctor is still like, you know, touching the humans, most of the humans. It's a classic, the big walls of decay versus big big attacking units of growth. Okay, so I mean he's, I think he's gonna take out the harvester. Steal with champion yep, he's gonna I think that's a good way to do it. And I don't have another Witch Doctor. That was all three of my Witch Doctors. Hmm. Hmm. He decides to just go full on that route. Okay. Necro Geddon. Is it Necro Geddon time? I think it might be. I just gotta poison everything, I think. So let's go for scrolls. I could go with a languid 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 unbind harvester. It's an option. He's a god hand, I'm just screwed though. If I go with the Necro get in, that would I could just kill this and then deal some more damage. I'm gonna go with the Necro get in. Um, 
They won't stop everything that's attacking the next turn, though. Let's just do it. And next turn, I can languid un unbind something. Okay, so that's going to kill the Wetland Ranger. I'm actually going to play it like this. Because, yeah, I'll do it like that. Because the, um... Yeah, this, this doesn't have balance anymore. I forgot that was going to happen. Dicey, dicey game. I don't think poison counts as uh, unbind can take it out, but languid, languid unbind can work. I don't think I, I'm going to be able to stall enough without the witch doctors against those big units. I need my damning curses. I have three damning curses in the deck. Is that game? It's pretty close. It's not game, but hopefully he doesn't have another one of those. Okay. <laughs> I think I have to languid on by that. I lose if he has another, uh, if he has another mangy wolf. So let's languid. I hate not languiding, unbinding the, the great wolves, though. <laughs> nah, I, I have to deal with the great wolf. Great wolves are too uh, too strong to be left alive. Brain lice. Do I just hope he doesn't have a, like, a way to win the game next turn? I think that's my only chance of winning, anyways. If I brain lice, that would make sure this dies in a couple turns. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna languid this. And then I'm going to play the Brain Lice and a Darkling. Play the Brain Lice on that, and I'll play a Darkling on this. So, I mean, he wins the game. I just took a big, I just, you know, go big or go home at this point, I think. I'm going to need pretty much perfect draws. I, don't, I didn't get it. The reason I did that is because I can play the Unbind at least on the Great Wolf next turn. GG. Well, Valentine got me. Valentine's pretty good. Uh, so it's gonna be tough for me to win this uh, whole tournament now that I took an 0-2 in the first the first uh, games of the second round, but that's how it goes. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you for the next games.